Hello, welcome. Let's provide answer to these two questions. If the gradient of a straight line is zero, then the line is what? What line, what straight line, or what type of straight line give us a zero gradient? Is it a horizontal line, vertical line, or the line that rises to the right, or the line that falls to the right? Now, we are aware that gradient is the change on the y-axis over the change on the x-axis. So, if we are looking at this, if we can get zero, then possibility is that when your change on the x-axis is what? Zero. Uh, on the y-axis. So, when the y-axis is zero, divided by the x-axis, you'll be getting zero. When the x axis is zero, then it become what undefined. So now, which line will give us y to be zero? You know, if you have your Cartesian plane, if I have a horizontal line, meaning this line is going to be parallel to the x-axis. So let's just say we have here to be two, we have here to be three. So any two points which we are having here, if I pick a two point, and let's say this place is also two, this place is also what, four, and I want to find the gradient of this line. You see, normally we need to have two points on a line and draw the change on the x-axis and the change on the y-axis. So here, you can say that for me to be able to find the, the coordinate of the point A here, I'll be having the value to be what? 4 on the y-axis. It will be 4. If you come to B, the coordinate of the, the point on the y-axis will also be 4. So if I pick this point, my gradient is going to be, if this is going to be your x2, x1, here is going to be your y1 value. It's going to be the y1 minus y1. Is the same point. So I'll be having uh, x2 minus what? x1. Let me use x2 so that I give the same point. For the y1, I'll be getting 4. For the y2, I'll be getting 4. Then x2 will be 3. Then this. So we're having 0 divided by 1, which will give you 0. So it means that when a straight line is horizontal and it is parallel to the x axis, you'll be getting a 0 gradient. The gradient will be zero. If it is vertical, as in this point, it's going to be undefined. Then, number 32, we are giving the point P as minus 2 and 3, and this point is translated by the vector. We know So we know from here, we know if I have a point plus the translating vector will give us the image. If you take any point and you add a translating vector to it, it gives you the image. So here we have to find the coordinate of what? R, which is the point P is translated by the vector this to a point R, meaning that becomes the image. So I'll be having the point in the vector column form, minus 2 and 3, plus the translation vector, which is minus 1 and 3, that will be giving us the value for the R, which in this case, we are going to have minus 2, in the case of this, plus minus 1, then 3 plus what? 3. So our vector r in the column form is going to be, if you have minus 2 and add minus 1 to it, it becomes what? Minus 3. 3 plus 3 will give you 6. So in this case, vector r will just be minus 3 and 6 in the coordinate form. I guess this will be okay. Alright, don't forget to share, like and comment. Bye-bye.